Welcome back for another video tutorial brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. Uh, I want to thank everybody who's been subscribing and uh, leaving me messages and comments on the videos. I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to keep on going with my goal right now for one a day uh, for at least, uh, I believe, the next two weeks. So my goal was to do uh, 21 days and then all of a sudden it went to like 30 days. So uh, that's my goal no matter what if I have to stay up late two three four in the morning uh, you know on top of all the other work that I got to do uh, my goal is to grow this thing right now and uh, you know get people aware of, of, of you know how to do certain things in these programs so um, that being said uh, what I want to speak about today in Adobe Illustrator is how to align um, you know objects elements it's a very important thing that you need to learn how to do if you want to create a professional advertisement obviously you want things to line up uh, whether it be your text and your elements you don't want stuff to be uh, kind of all over the place and obviously if stuff's off just a little bit maybe people aren't going to notice but it just you know it just it's bad uh, design it's not you know when I was in an advertising agency when I worked for one a long time ago uh, we used to spend so much extra time just making sure we went back in so that every single thing was aligned because you know it, it works a couple ways if if I'm working on a project and then another designer jumps on it later on I don't want to make it confusing and messy for him either but it's it's really more for the fact that people are paying you to do a job do it right uh, make sure everything is aligned that's why there are aligned tools and besides the tools you really need to um, you can't rely on the tools completely and I'll show you why when it comes to text uh, but uh, you know let's get into this right now so uh, what you want to do is go to the window in the align tool and that's gonna give you uh, a bunch of different options usually the align tool is is um, is coupled with the Pathfinder tool uh, but I took those out of here right now because that's for another tutorial for another time and um, there's a bunch of different align uh, things that we can do here the first row is about aligning objects um, the next row is about distributing the objects and the last row is about distributed spacing so uh, what I'm gonna go do first is uh, I'm gonna take this word aligning out of here and just you know I make these things for the purpose of the tutorials at the time um, and I am going to use these four elements right here, these boxes. So um, I'm going to move this up a little bit and move this down a little bit. Now, if I select all four, I'm just going to go through all the tools right now. If I select all four of these boxes right now, okay, they are the same size. So that's going to kind of help in this tutorial. But if we come over this first tool, it's going to say horizontal align left. Um, this is kind of like when you align your text to the left. It's, it's going to take all your elements and take the leftmost point of that element and align that point. So if we click this right here, you're going to see everything jumps over to the left. Okay, that's great. Uh, that's exactly what we wanted. So I'm going to back up a second and just say I take this point right here with the direct selection. I pull it out a little bit just so you can visually see this. If I select all four of these right now, it's going to still a left align from that left point so it's a uh, kind of a thing it's uh, um, I did that just so you can really see that uh, no matter what you do to the object it's still gonna get that leftmost point so um, that's a horizontal align uh, if these objects were different sizes this would really uh, play a factor the 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 um, the mid uh, the center uh, align object I'm sorry, I just went blank. Uh, but these objects are all the same shapes, size. So if we go to the left or we do the center, it's, I mean, it's dead on. They're just about exact. So uh, what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to stretch this guy out right here. And you're going to notice there's a center point. All right, I'm going to pull this guy in a little bit. And I'm going to pull this out a little bit. So all four of these boxes are different sizes. So now I'm going to marquee and select all four of these boxes and now I'm gonna hit the left align again so it's still doing the left and now I'm gonna hit the center align tool and that's going to take the center points of those boxes or any elements you're working with it could be text and it's going to align them based on the center point so that is how that happens and obviously if we do the right it's going to do the same thing with the right so I don't really gotta harp on those they're very basic and very simple um, 
I'm gonna make these all the same size again. And these three over here, vertical align top, vertical center, and vertical bottom, it's the same thing as these three, but it's just it's uh, the concept of them being going from up and down instead of left and right. So uh, obviously, if I take all these elements and I select and I hit the top selection tool. Uh, another thing I want you to notice while, while I'm about to hit this top selection tool, it's going to take the highest element and align everything up to that. So if you see that green box, that is the highest element out of all four of those. So when I hit this, they're all going to align to the top baseline of where that green was. The only box that didn't move was that green so just you know I'm kind of repeating things but just so you understand the concept of this I know this sounds real simple and if you know this stuff uh, you're probably like you know oh this is real simple I'll need this tutorial yes that's because this tutorial is for a beginner uh, who is just starting to learn Adobe Photoshop so um, I'm going to undo that by hitting command Z and now we're going to do the vertical align bottom and I want you to just guess what's gonna happen uh, what box do you think this is going to line up to? And if you said the red box, you are correct because that is the element that is the furthest down. So it is going to take every element, just like the one when we did with the green box before to the top, now it aligned everything to the bottom. So I'm gonna back up a little bit, get my elements back here to where I wanted them. Now, the next line is how to distribute the objects, okay? This one I use a lot, especially if I'm making like a, a list of bullet points or something like that. Um, say, you know, this box is all the way over here, this this gold, and this green is really close to the red, and this blue is kind of just, you know, sitting over there. I want to distribute these evenly, okay? Because I want them to be nice and neat, and, and I want them to be the same space apart. So I'm going to select all four of these boxes, and I am first you could do either first or second, but I'm gonna first align them to the top so they're on the same plane. And the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to come over here uh, and just like the top line, these three on the left are the vertical distributes and these three on the right are the horizontal. So they're all kind of like in the same group, you know, this three and these three. So obviously I need to distribute these horizontally, so I'm going to distribute them from the center. Now I would suggest playing with the other ones uh, I only got uh, so much more time in this tutorial, so I'm just going to do the center ones right now just to show you what happens. And if I hit the center distribute, it's going to align them right from the center point. So now, not only are these uh, vertically aligned, they're horizontally spaced completely even. So um, that's also something, like I said, you can do if I copy these right here and I copy another one all the way down here. So I'll select all three of these. And if I do the vertical distribute, it's going to distribute them, but they're not aligned yet. So that's when we would hit the left align. So it's very simple stuff, guys. Um, you know, this this aligning stuff, but it's, it's something that can be very, very, very useful uh, in your layouts. Okay, so now what I wanted to show you is I want to show you uh, how to do the same types of concepts when we're using text, all right? Uh, this is a couple things I, I built real quick, nothing crazy, um, that says how, this is how to align. And I'm going to pull these down here real quick. And it's the same concept. So if I select all these elements and I align these to the left uh, and I distribute them vertically, Hold on one second. All right. Please choose a key object by clicking on the select object section tool or set the spacing value to auto. I messed that up real quick. Make sure this is set to auto, okay? On the bottom, I don't use this bottom this bottom bar of tools. It's uh, you know, it's more than the basic stuff. So, like I said, I just I'm just using the basic stuff in here. It, it it's gonna basically do every single thing for you. So I'm going to horizontally distribute these right here. And one thing I just want to point out is because if you're making text, right? Um, and I did a logo on another tutorial, and there was a word company on it, and I'll just leave it in this font. And I added, I added. Um, Actually, what I'm going to do on top of here, excuse me, I'm going to copy it. And say I add 
maybe 200 tracking. It's adding space after each letter, okay? Um, I want you to notice something. If you see this last letter, all right, this where the Y ends, it's going. you see all that extra space there? When you click on this Y, there's no space after it, but this Y, there's a lot of space. Now, I wanna show you what happens if I align, if I take this element right here and I align it with this word company, okay? I'm going to right align it and boom, all of a sudden, this element is lining up way past the end of that Y. See, what a lot of artists do is, and I used to do this in the beginning, and I had to learn it the hard way, and you know, I'm happy because I learned from it. And what happens is, if you have all that extra space after the type because of, of how you tracked it, or sometimes some fonts, they create that, that extra area at the end, um, you need to take that area away because it's going to everything's going to align as if that element goes there because in your head you might be selecting a whole bunch of things and saying oh let me just align them to the right and boom all right now you think okay this tool align is flawless it's gonna align everything to the right well I mean it is flawless in a way but the fact is that you have all this extra space here you didn't know about so the way that you take this away, especially if you're kerning, uh, excuse me, you're tracking a lot of words uh, and you have all this space, you can leave the space after all these letters, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the space out of the end of this Y. And the way we're gonna do that is we're going to make sure our cursor is in there, pull out our character palette, and we're going to either lo start lowering our track uh, tracking manually, okay? Actually, excuse me, it's our kerning because Tracking is has to do with the whole word, so um, you can only kern a single. Kerning is is taking space out of a after a single letter, which is what we're doing with the Y. So you can hit hold down the Option button and start hitting the left and right on the keyboard. And as I do that, you're gonna see right here my kerning is changing. So if I go left, it's going one one. It's going lower the number. If I go right, the number is increasing. So I'm gonna get it as close to that Y as possible. One more. Now now my cursor is finally touching that Y. So when I select these two elements and I right align them, boom! There you go. They line up perfectly. So there is n there is no questioning. Uh, you know whether those are lining up there. You can even check that by clicking the element, which is what I do a lot, and holding the, the shift down and just moving it up and down. And you see how that's flush on the end of that, on the end of that gold box? That's exactly what you wanted. So, uh, you know, it's good for when you want to line up things, uh, elements, and text at the same time. So, um, that is basically it on aligning. Uh, aligning is, like I said, it's a tool to make everything look nice and neat and uh, you know make your designs look a little bit more professional. I'm telling you guys, if you're not doing it, uh, you know, search for design or you know, I'm gonna be putting uh, articles up about good books you should be getting for design and uh, you know, reference points, stuff like that, magazines. And uh, it's just to learn how advertising agencies do it because you know, they learn the rules the right way, and you know what? That's how we're going to learn the rules by people who are already doing it. It's uh, it's like uh, it's like you know anybody who you admire or any company who you admire. You know the way that you get to their success is by you know seeing what they did and doing it yourself, and do you know or you know and learning from the mistakes when you don't do it like they did. But uh, you know that's how you grow in a company. So that's it, guys. Uh, I could talk for hours about this stuff, but my time is up. Uh, you can visit graphicdesignertips.com to learn more about all this cool stuff. Uh, my name is Steve, and, uh, and that's it. Any questions, comments, leave them below, and have a good night. Peace.